So, like so many things you green, this is well packaged and it is well built. It has rounded corners, it has really nice finishing. And <clears throat> again, it's just one of those things where for the price, it's just really well done. So this company has a great reputation of knowing how to package things up in a you know non-fancy way but it looks really nice still so you know it 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 does a great job of just keeping it simple but keeping it looking nice so here you go here are all the ports this is for your 10 gigabit SPF connection. So the way to use this essentially would be you have your uplink at 10 gigabits per second, but downstream everything is 2.5. Um, the benefit of that is that you can run each of these Macs at 2.5 uh, without throttling your uplink. And um, this is a very affordable way of upgrading your network. So going from one gig to 2.5, you're definitely gonna see a significant change. Um, of course, I would always recommend if you can, I know it is a bit more expensive, but always go with, um, like try to go with 10 gig per second, or um, if not then five, but try to go with 10 and then you'll see massive changes. But if not, and you're just looking for an affordable way or you're setting something up now and you're on a budget, then definitely avoid one gig and go with 2.5. Um, the speed bump is noticeable, quite noticeable. With this specific one, you can see, you can use it uh, in standard switch mode. Uh, you can toggle it over to VLAN, so you can set that up. If you want to separate um, this switch from the rest of your network, for example, and then there's link aggregation if you've got um, multiple 2.5 ports on your computer, your device, and you want to pair them up in order to get a larger bandwidth. So just do your homework uh, if you are planning on using that, because um, as you know, larger bandwidth is not the same thing as a higher speed. Um, it is beneficial for certain scenarios, but... Um, it might not always give you the uh, solution that you're looking for. But the quality of this is top notch. It feels really great. And if you're in the market for 2.5 uh, gigabit switch, um, this one's great. You can mount it on the wall. It's really well built, really solid. Um, the components look and feel really good, <coughs> really really robust and reliable and it's nice that it has this little feature just in case down the road um, either immediately you want it or down the road if you need to set up a vline or you need link aggregation for higher bandwidth and um, of course this is a great way if you want to run uh, downstream devices without throttling any of them uh, using the uh, 10 gigabit per second spf uh, uplink and that's, you know, probably the way things are going to go. So um, I think in the future, things are just going to go the way of fiber. But um, yeah, that's just that's just my opinion.